Now let's add some fillets to the part. Click on the fillet tool. Let's change to a trimetric view again. And then select the face that you want to add the fillet to. We'll change the value to 2 millimeters. Click on the top face and click on this outer face. Any edges associated with those faces will have a fillet applied to them. As I hit OK to accept my changes, the fillets will be applied. Now let's create a tall cylinder extrusion. To extrude again, I want to choose Extrude Boss Base. I need to select a flat face to sketch on, so I'll click on this face. I have now opened a sketch on this top face. Notice that the confirmation corner is back and my sketch tools are ready. Let's look directly on top of that face by changing our view orientation and choosing Top. We need to draw a construction line. I'll hover over the origin and draw a line straight up. The little yellow square with a vertical line next to my cursor indicates that this line will have a vertical relation. I'll click a second time to end the line. I'll hit Escape to get out of the line tool. Let's draw a circle on the end of the line. As I hover over the end of the line, I'll get some feedback next to my cursor indicating that the center of the circle will be attached to the end of the line. I'll click once, draw a circle, and click again to end the circle. I'll hit Escape to get out of the circle command. Let's add some dimensions. And to the line, I'll select the line. It'll automatically grab the endpoints. I'll add a 35 dimension. Now that we're done sketching, we can accept our changes and hit OK. We want to extrude this a depth of 30, so I'll type in 30. And I'll change the view orientation so we can see which direction that we're extruding. I'll hit OK. Let's cut a hole now. I'll click on the Cut Extrude. It prompts me to choose a flat face to start sketching on. And I'll choose the top of the cylinder we just extruded. I'll click on the circle tool, and what I'll do is hover over the edge of the circle, and it'll pull up some reference points. It'll also show me where the center of that circular face is. As I move my cursor to the center, I'll get some feedback indicating that I'm right over the center. I'll click once, move my cursor, and click again to roughly sketch out a circle. This is a little bit different than previously where we were looking straight on the face when sketching. It's possible to open a sketch on a face that you're not looking directly at.
Let's add a dimension to the circle. And I will type in 15 and hit enter. I like the changes I've made, so I'll accept these. And it'll automatically put me into the Cut Extrude tool. We'll change from a blind cut to a through wall. Hit the OK. We can change the view of our model in the modeling area to a wireframe or hidden lines removed. Let's change it to a hidden lines visible. We'll add some more fillets onto the part by clicking on the fillet tool. We'll keep the fillet radius of 2 millimeters. We'll select the top face. We'll select through the part to a bottom edge. We'll once again select through the part to click on an edge behind the cylinder. And we'll also click on one of the edges that you see visible. Once we've selected those faces, or edges, we can click OK, and the fillets will be applied. I'll now change the view back to a shaded view.